What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play The Last Vikings. Today, let's continue seeing if we can find our way off of Tomato's ship. To begin with, I... No, Eric doesn't want to go that way at all. Eric wants to go this way. And he can jump across that gap, which none of the other Vikings can do. And jump over these grinders, because grinding into getting ground into little bits would be unpleasant. Send that elevator up and jump off. And hit that switch to turn off the little electrical field. Bring Galeog down here, get the tomato, kill off a couple of aliens. And we can get him back onto the elevator. And Olaf can just glide over here. Send the elevator down with our two fellows on it. And we'll position Olaf on the other side of that gap. Jump over the grinder. Wait for the thing to shoot and grab that key. And I want to trade that key to Baleog. Send Baleog up. Wait for the alien to get out of the way. And hit that key. So let's get all our friends over here. There we go. Almost got hit there. And hit up the teleporter. Now this section is a little bit tricky. So we got these little uh, anti-gravity things that send us upwards towards our duty. But if we just keep walking then we hit this little area here and we're, we're fine. Now what we gotta do here is we gotta select Olaf and put shield up. And Eric can jump up there and get these. These are gravity boots. And gravity boots let you stick to the floor. So what I want to do is give those gravity boots to Olaf. Use them. And then he can walk out over here without getting sent up to the his electric doom. But there's some bad guys here, so how do we deal with that? Well, we switch over to Baleok and we shoot an arrow. But oh, wait, arrows don't do anything if they, they can only reach the length of the screen. So what we gotta do is shoot an arrow and then switch to Olaf so that the screen transitions and kind of follows the arrow. Bam. And there's another dude right up here. Hit that button and that turns off the gravity, or anti-gravity field. And we get everyone over to the exit. But it's a little bit of a different exit this time. It's more of a, a swirling vortex than a, an exit. Maybe it does lead home. Or it could lead us somewhere much, much worse. I guess there's only one way to find it. it sends us swirling through time and space. So, where do we end up? On a prehistoric planet. I guess it sort of looks like our Viking homeworld. We did have dinosaurs there, so, you know. We gotta jump over here first and uh, jump up into this thing to grab that key. We also get an X bomb, but we're gonna save that. Olaf up here. And bring his buddy Baleog along with him. You gotta be a little bit careful here because of the hills. They can make things a little bit tricky. Ah. That's what I get for being impatient. The snails are annoying because uh, they can't be hit by the bow uh, from behind. You can hit them with the sword from behind them. They also shoot little projectiles, so that, there's that as well. There you go. I actually got the tomato this time. Let's trade that to Baleog to restore his health of 10. Jump over here 
to the yellow key. shield down and bash down the wall and bash down the wall kill Mr. Snail now I, I always have trouble getting up here or not okay so we can just jump right up here and that lets us grab the little shield thing and the shield thing is kind of like a tomato, except it gives you uh, an extra health. So you see, Beliog now has four health. I'm gonna take a bit of a risk here and have Beliog take on the snail on his own. That kind of stuff is often risky, but you know, sometimes it pays off. And Beliog did have that extra health, so it's not the end of the world. And have Eric open up this door. Slay the foes of our Viking friends. And what's up here? Looks like we got some meat that we're not gonna need. And another door. And this level is a good demonstration of why it's a good idea to always progress slowly because you can kind of get into a trap here where it's like, oh, let's just see what's over here. Oh, look, there's a thing. Maybe if I jump across that, I'll... Oh, wait, no, there's a bridge there. So you have to kind of progress slowly and have everyone available to use their abilities if uh, certain situations crop up. I don't know if I would call them cute. They have a bit of kind of a scowly face. Oh, and now we're outside again. So for this level, we gotta send Olaf up top. We can grab these uh, tomatoes. Well, that's a tomato. Or no. Yeah, that's. I don't know. Something. And then we gotta put Olaf's shield above his head and float on down. Do not go for that big piece of meat because it is in fact a death trap. And I died anyways. So now what we gotta do is hit start and choose to give up. Because if any of your viking friends die, then it's impossible to continue. And Olaf gets brought back to life by some mystical force. I guess they're friends with Thor or something. Now let's try that again. We gotta work our way up here. And float on down here. Careful not to float too far. Oh, float far. Okay, there we go. Now technically it's actually possible to fall down that uh, little pathway with Eric, but obviously it's much easier to do it with Olaf. Gotta be a little bit careful on this hill here because if you got a, a bad angle then the uh, dinosaurs can kind of bite over top of Olaf's shield. And over here we got a little bit of a flamethrower thing, but luckily Olaf can block those with his shield. So we can grab that key. Oh, these guys are a pain in the butt. These guys will knock you back, and they also can't be hit until they uh, stop rolling, like that. So when they're rolling around, you can't really do anything. But when they uh, they start like crawling, not crawling, but running on their knuckles, that's when you get the opportunity to actually hit them. And they are very, very annoying. So use the key and send it off up here, and ah, I almost got ambushed by that dinosaur. Kill you off. And let's get Eric up here. Oh, yellow key! Oh, it's up there. 
So we gotta put Olaf's shield up there so Eric can jump on top. Don't want to go too far though. Uh, let's position Olaf to be ready to defend. Uh, let's get Baleog up here too. Get the thing. Now we, we wait. Got him. Now, if you're used to killing these guys, it's actually timing. They, they, there's a, a set amount of time between every uh, time that they'll stop rolling. So, if you know the timing, then that helps out a lot. Ah, this is why you send Olaf first. But I'm just that good. I don't need no shield. Okay. Just to prove I don't need any shield. Okay, maybe I do need a shield. But we got him anyways. And there's a snail down here, I believe. And we got him. It's actually... Uh, usually easier to kill those uh, roly-poly dudes with just Baleog because you can knock them back with your sword. And if you're using Olaf, Olaf constantly gets knocked back by them. So it can be kind of tricky to kind of control multiple people at the same time that way. So I, I, I tend to prefer just using Baleog and knocking them back instead of getting myself knocked back. But with that, I leave you here for today on Let's Play the Lost Vikings. Catch you later!